Hey everybody out there, this is Seto, and today guys, I'm going to be talking about a little interesting topic uh, where people pretty much label certain decks certain things, and I got this idea for this video and topic in general uh, from watching Mega Capital G's video from a couple of days ago, and I recently watched that video again, and in that video he talks about, if you haven't seen it yet, he talks about how so is it is it okay, he asks, pretty much to play scumbaggy decks, quote unquote. Uh, you know, is it okay for a player to do that? And in the video he talks about how really, it, you know, is it alright, is it not alright? He's pretty much leaving it open ended in the video. And he pretty much, after watching the video the second time, I was like, it's pretty much alright, I feel like, personally, for any player to play any deck that they want to play, no matter, you know, because it is a free world, hopefully. And, you know, you do have that choice to choosing whatever deck you want to, no matter what Konami says or what the player base says, because there's many decks out there that players consider, you know, certain decks, maybe not just scumbaggy, but they consider it degenerate or, you know, decks that Konami pushes on us or... Oh gosh, what are some other terminology I heard? Terminologies I've heard for decks that are just that people consider degenerate, like um, autopilot. Um, you know, takes no skill. I mean, you've heard different names for people for decks that people do not like, and everybody has a deck that they don't like to face against. I mean, I've had personal people say to me on some of my Gravekeeper deck profiles, "I hate you because you play Gravekeepers," but because it locks down a graveyard or it shuts effects off in the graveyard sometimes with a uh, shaman nowadays. So I mean, certain people have certain feelings against certain decks, but that doesn't mean that you as a player should not just pay, play a deck because people perceive that deck to be that certain way. I know people that personally love Dark Worlds because they just like the archetype, they like the way the deck functions, they built the deck to be a control-esque deck because, you know, skill drain shuts things down, deck devastation, you know, they just they like controlling things, or people like playing more control decks like me with Gravekeepers and Six Samurais back in the day, you know, you lock your opponent down in a certain way, they can't do nothing, and you're just like, come at me, bro. So. Certain people have certain playing styles, and they're better at that playing styles. And just because, you know, people put a label or a name on a certain deck, doesn't mean you should not play it. I'm not just saying, you know, you shouldn't play Quillipos, or, you know, Neocloths, or Burning Abyss, or Shed Dolls, just because people consider them the best decks in the format. You don't have to play that. You don't have to play the decks that Konami's pushing. You can play whatever decks you want because that is what makes Yu-Gi-Oh! fun. If people always play the same decks over and over again, and play everybody played the same exact deck, it gets boring really fast. If everybody played Exodia, no matter what I think of Exodia, going Obliver Way! Yes, now I say Obliver Wait, for some weird reason, my accent, I guess. But no matter what people play, no matter if everybody just played Exodia, it would get boring. And the fact that we all have a free choice choose whatever deck we want to makes this game fun and I know many competitive players out there that they'll have the main meta deck that they'll take to a tournament because it's considered very good or it ha gives them a more likely chance at the top but they all they always don't play that same deck over and over and over and over again they have decks on the side that they play at locals or you know at regionals sometimes just for the fun of it because they can they have that choice and I think it's a stereotype, you know, people put stereotypes on certain decks because they've had bad experience with bad experiences with that deck, or people just bandwagon on certain decks I've found in the past, and they're just like, this deck's degenerate, this deck, you know, degenerate, excuse me for my stuttering, eh, you know, drink some water. But people, you know, would jump on a bandwagon and everybody would just start saying the same exact thing, and then it becomes a loud voice, and then before you know it, people just all say, oh, you know, people say it's that, so it must be that even though they probably made, some of them have never even played the deck to some extent. But also, to end this video, I'm not just saying that, you know, old school decks are not fun to play. I'm saying that you, as a Yu-Gi-Oh player, have the choice to play whatever decks you want, no matter what people say about them. And that's what makes Yu-Gi-Oh fun. That's what makes it unique. That's what makes players unique because they can choose the decks they want to play. Me personally, I play competitive. I've been to the big events. I've done this before. But as years have gone on and situations have arised, I have found more fun, more entertainment, more enjoyment personally 
and from other people enjoying it as well. Look at me doing YouTube. You see the decks I upload as profiles. They're not always the top tier decks, are they? I get enjoyment from playing the decks because I personally like the deck. And if you personally like the deck, you're going to do better, I've always found. And you're going to, that deck's going to stay around a lot longer. You're going to keep it. You're going to try to innovate it format to format to keep it good. So that's just my two cents on why you should just play the deck you freaking want to play. So guys, till next time, take care, have fun dueling, good luck dueling, have a happy Thanksgiving, and if you actually pay attention to this end of this video, and you look in the background, you may see a little hint to a deck that I'm going to be building in the future. That's all I'm going to say. So guys, I hope you have a nice Thanksgiving if you celebrate Thanksgiving. I'll see you guys next Monday with a video. Um, I just wanted to do this video today because I just wanted to talk about it because I felt it was something that needed to be talked about. So guys, till next time, Seto Kaiba, I'm out of here guys. Take care everybody.